Hi guys, my name is Megan with thebloggirlsandhomestead.com and today I have another thrift haul for you guys. These are so fun for me to do. I love going to thrift stores and garage sales and finding treasures like these and I don't always keep them all. Sometimes I sell them on my thrifted Etsy shop and a lot of times I will keep them because I have found some really cool things and they just go so well in our house. And I love trying to find like farmhouse style decor and antiques and it's really fun for me to hunt for things like that. I have a little helper joining me today. This is Vivian. So anyway, let's get right into this haul. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this awesome pillow. It's this embroidered, whatever that's called, embroidered maybe floral pillow and it looks so pretty and the back is like this soft kind of pink pinkish color like dusty pink color and this just goes so well in our living room and it feels sturdy like sometimes pillows feel like you know you shouldn't let your kids play with it it's always nice to find pillows like this that I feel comfortable leaving in our living room for our kids to throw around <laughs> and whack each other with and just play with on the floor and so I was really excited to find this. This is also a cover that can get taken off if I want to wash it, which is also a really important thing if you have kids and you want pillows in your living room. So this was really exciting to find. The next thing is this copper kettle. I really love how copper looks in farmhouse kitchens and just as decor around the house. So normally I have this copper kettle sitting on these shelves back here as some decoration. Now we have some artwork. This is a really cool picture of two little girls playing with a doll. It's just a kind of a, a really sweet, cool old picture. So this one I put in our hallway and I really like how it looks underneath the candlesticks that are hanging there too. Here we have a soap holder. So this little this little plate here could, could be used as like a jewelry holder, a holder for your keys whatever, and I decided that since we didn't have a soap dish yet in our master bathroom, that this was the perfect thing for that. And I have to say, I love this little plate so much. It's so cute, and I love the colors. And yes, I still have my soap bar on it, <laughs> but I just love the little gold handles and the flowers on it. It's just really pretty in there. Now I have a little tiny picture. This one is a really cute kind of farmhousey. It's a picture of a, an old barn with I love the yellow frame. But this is just a really nice piece to have for filling in like a gallery wall with something like little. Like if you have just a little spot that needs something, you don't have something small enough. This is something perfect for that. So this is actually gonna go on the little gallery wall in our bedroom. I have one above my dresser and one above my husband's dresser and this is going to go above his dresser because it needs a little extra stuff. Here's the next picture that I got. It's a little girl in a meadow. She's really charming picture. Just a, another great addition to the gallery walls that I have. It just really goes with my style. This is one of my favorite most recent finds. This is just the coolest old picture of sheep and their shepherd. It's just like, especially since we have sheep, we live on a homestead, I love finding old pictures like this. And this picture seriously looks so old, like the edges look so worn, like along the side right here you can see torn out a little bit and just really old and it's just so, so cool. So this, this one I have on the gallery wall in our bedroom on my side of the bed. Here are two more little small pictures, again. These fill in a gallery wall so well. I have these in our bedroom as well. They just look really cool. There's a little house with snow on it and a waterfall scenery. And these frames just look so cool. I mean, they're they're kind of plastic, but you can't really tell unless you put a cap on it. But they just look like really cool. Here's a stack of some cool old plates. I love hanging plates around the house. So these, the first three, actually have plate hangers on the back because have them hung in our hallway also. First three are all blue and they have different pictures on them. This is a little farmhouse with a tree. This one is the Independence Hall. And then here's this one. 
And I just really love how these kind of plates look on the wall, especially if you have like all blue ones hung in an area or all red ones or like all matching of the color. I just think that looks really cool, like farmhousey. So this one has to be one of my favorites of the plates that I got. It's got like flowers along the edge and they're driving a, a wagon and there's a farmhouse. But this one is really cool. I just need to get some plate hang get some more plate hangers because I, I know I have a spot picked out for all of these other ones. I just need some some more plate hangers. And then here's a different one of the Independence Hall. And then I got another ladle because honestly, it seems like you can't have too many kitchen utensils and ladles. We have two already and it seems like one's dirty or the kids will play with it and it'll be missing for a while. So I figured why not have three ladles and I found this really cool old like enamel ladle with a hanger on the top. So got another ladle. Then I got these two little painted floral pictures. I really love round frames. They just look really cool if you mix and match them with like square, regular square frames or rectangle frames, it just adds some something different to look at. I, I really like that. So I got one blue and one pink. So back to kitchen utensils. Not all these are new, obviously, but the utensil holder is new. I've had the same one since we were married. It was kind of plasticky and cheap and teal, and it just really didn't go with my kitchen anymore as it's kind of evolved into more of my style. So I've been looking for one like this forever and I finally found one. It's like the perfect size. It's big enough for all of these because a lot of the ones I find were either too small or they were the right size but like ridiculously expensive. And then I also got a few more of these utensils. So a few of these in here are new. Let's see. So all these ones are new. This spoon I've loved so far, I gotta say. And then a few just small ones. So just always nice to have some extra utensils for when they're dirty. Then I found some packs of these old clothespins. I really like these just old ones that you just push onto the line, not ones that open because these don't seem to break as easily and I just really like these. So I like to hang as many clothes as we can to dry outside. I haven't lately because I just had a baby and I'm trying to take it easy. But in general, I like to do a lot of hanging our clothes outside, especially the cloth diapers. So having a lot of clothespins is nice, especially if there's any emergency, like in spring of 2020, it seems like clothespins and a lot of different things like that just sold out really fast. So I just like to make sure I have the amount of clothespins and, and items like this that I need on hand, even if I'm not currently using them. It's just a nice thing to have around. I found this cute little shelf. I was thinking about hanging it in our bathroom. And just have some extra things to hang towels or washcloths on because we just have the one towel rack and there's five of us. So it's hard to squeeze five towels in on that little towel rack. So I was thinking about having this for the kids' towels since they're a little smaller and then finding something to put in there. I was thinking my littler essential oil bottles might fit in here that or put some essential oil bottles on the top or just some things that we use in the bathroom all the time. And then I got another candle holder. This one is kind of cute. And I put in one of my beeswax candles that I get from Azure Standard. I love these candles. They just look really cool and they burn a long time and there's not any extra nasty stuff in them like there are in paraffin candles. Okay, last item of the video. I got this little what is it? A bottle? A, a jar? A vase? I don't know what it is, but I just really like how it has the cream on the top and then kind of this mustard orange brown color on the bottom. It just really goes with my color and my style. So this is another thing that I have hanging up, sitting on these shelves behind me normally with that kettle. And I just really love how it looks. And then also if I just gather a, a small bunch of flowers, I'll use it as a vase and that just looks really pretty. So yeah, that is my most recent thrift haul. And again, it's the kind of things I've been gathering for a while from garage sales and different places if I can find good deals on them. And sometimes people give me old things. And so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. And I've just been having so much fun finding things and finding places from our house and just really decorating the house how I like and making it beautiful. 
and a place that my family enjoys being in. If you enjoy seeing videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.